everyone! Agent Fluffy here! I have officially returned to my Let's Play uh, Phoenix Wright History Trilogy Trials and Tribulations. So now we're gonna start with the Stolen Turnabout Part 1 Investigation. Are you guys ready for the Stolen Turnabout? Let's get going. The time is at 1, one o'clock a.m. Detective, we made it! Whew, what a relief. Glad that Jewel is still safe. Ho oh, ho, you said it, pal. It must have been a rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Turn on the searchlights! <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen! <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. We shall meet again when the next moon is full! <laughs> <laughs> October 11th, 3.24 p.m. Right in Cole Law Offices. Hey, Nick! Can I load of this? Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later! This is important! <sighs> what are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time! Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are... Ha! <laughs> don't be silly! I'm talking about me and... Curly, of course! Hello! It's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick! Curls! You haven't changed a bit! Wait, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> Have you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! Well, what's this? Some kind of poster? Karayan Village. Isn't that... That's right! It's our hometown! Pearly and mine, that is. What's this about treasures from the boonies? <laughs> Very funny! You can laugh all you want. But you'll be singing another tune tonight! Tonight? What about tonight? The treasures of Karayan exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but... The promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes! That's why I dressed up extra special today! What do you think, Nick? <laughs> See, Maya. Different day. This young lady here is Maya Faye. The younger sister of Mia Fey, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then... I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes! Actually, that's just co Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium, and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? And this little girl is Pearl Faye, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Karayan Village is the home of the mysterious Karayan channeling technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the Karayan School of Channeling's master. 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's a real thing, all right. Uh, to Nick, how are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? Yes, Mr. Nick. I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. <sighs> Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. The exhibit poster added the car record. October 11th, 7, 18 p.m. Lordly Taylor, main exhibit hall. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Wow! This is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. It all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Fame Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? Say, Nick, the person in charge of this ex, ex uh, the person in charge of this exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. All right, I guess we should go and say hello. Let's go examine here. I think I remember this old folding screen here. I'm pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence in that murder case that happened in Karayan Village. What? <laughs> uh, excuse me. This folding screen is the greatest of all spirit channeling secrets. The Six Lee Karayan Sacred Writings folding screen! If it's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let's see. Here's the title in English. 108 Ways to Save Money. I'm pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it. Well, we're always looking for new ways, you know? Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. What's with this big cushion? It's just lying around with nothing on it. Hmm. Well, it must be for the greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is. Right, Pearly? <gasps> oh, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, I bet it would really take your breath away. Man. Oh, it took my look! I can't believe it! Oh, it's so cute! It's a little diorama of Karayan Village! Yeah, look at that. But somehow, it seems to reek of dreariness. Oh, it took my It's your house! It even says Fame Manor on it! Yikes, you're right! I kind of want to add the famous in front of it. Don't do it, Maya. You might get mad. Let's see. They're just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures too? Of course they are! This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes to be a treasure is age? No wonder nobody likes museums. Hey, I like museums. I like them. It just depends on what kind of museum that is. But I do like museums in general. Let's see. October 11th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Yep, this is a basement warehouse, all right. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. <laughs> a monster! You are right! Huh? A monster? Good evening. It's good to see you again. Y you... I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again, too, little miss. Ah, oh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Oh, 
Oh, um, uh, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. So this is the warehouse. This really valuable exhibit items are really... The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. Let's see if I can talk to Adrian. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? What, why are you freaking out on me? What? I just, what? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up, that's all. Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let him on the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything. They'll need pearls further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It, it was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us... No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. <sighs> that's a relief. Let's see. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be very tiring. Well, Lordly Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums! Yes, I did! That's really wonderful! So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. And security guards are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So what's with that face she's making? I wonder that too. I owe a great deal of thanks to that badge. It's the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, come on now. That's not true. I think I'm making... I think that... I think what Nick means to say is, it wasn't thanks to the badge, it was thanks to me! Tell the truth, Nick! I know that's what you were thinking! But no way, Maya! I wanted to do something nice for you and your friends, Mr. Wright. So that's why you arranged the exhibit? I knew that Karayan Village was the hometown of your assistant, Maya. I thought it would be great to li- I thought it would- I thought it would be great to let the rest of the world know about it, too. Hmm, but that's not exactly thanking me, per se, is it? Maybe, but who would have seen an exhibit on a treasure of Phoenix Wright? I guess I can't argue with that one. Man. I have to move my ball. Okay, let's examine. Oh. This computer, it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the storeroom. Then the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what. I see. That's some pretty high-tech stuff. It is indeed high-tech stuff. <gasps> Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick! Right, sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere? My god. Let's see. Oh! Camera. It's a security camera. It's trained on the warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters or exits the door. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on the sign... All I can read on it is the burr. Uh-huh! I got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger! Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something? I kinda doubt it. Aha! Uh -huh, I got it! Maybe it said spaghetti! Why are you talking about food? Oh wait, that's normal for you. 
Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. Ouch! Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's a door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in. I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel. Why are you telling me that? Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door. That, that's Mystic Ami, right? Yeah, that's a statue of the woman who invented the crying channeling technique, Ami Fei. This statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fey Branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Ooh. What's with that creepy thing she's holding? Don't ask me! How should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the crying... Shichi... Shi Shichi Shito. It is a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Aw, fully! I want to cut something! What are, you, what are you eyeing me for? Oh, look, it's already 8 o'clock. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually... I've already made a reservation on the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? Ooh, I like the sound of that! Dine! It sounds so fancy! Oh, the kids' lunch! <laughs> Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your fill with a kids' dinner? Okay, in that case, one kids' dinner for me! <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day, something terrible would happen. October 12th, 10.09 a.m., Reg and Cole Law Offices. And Nick, this is terrible! What the? What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? I never knew you were such a toilet freak! Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. We got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was a work of the renowned phantom thief, Master Mask. M Mast the Mask? According to a spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is a fifth heist by the phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. But Lordly Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet! Treasure? Lordly Taylor? You don't think... Yes, now get up, Nick! It was stolen by Master Mask! Our most valuable treasure! The Korean Sacred Earth was stolen! What? Oh, shit. Refresh my memory a little. What's this sacred urn? It's only the most important treasure in Korean Village, that's all! Look, it's right there on this poster! Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul! Namely, the soul of Mystic Ami Fei, the founder of the Korean channeling technique! Right, Pearly? Ah, yes! That's right! Hold up. I thought that urn has a name Ami written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm. Any idea how that happened, Pearly? Huh? Oh, I. Well. <laughs> there is something that's best left unsolved. What did you say, Mr. Nick? That's right. 
One year ago, there was a murder in Karayan Village, Maya's hometown. The sacred urn. It turned out to be an important clue in that case. Sacred so urn added to the court record. Alright, this is a good place to stop. And next time, we're gonna go to Lordly Taylor and, uh, well, investigate what the hell just happened in Lordly Taylor. So this has been Agent Fluffy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me even more, feel free to support my Patreon. The links are right here.